Hi, it's Dr. Keenan, and I finished day three of Prolon. So how did it go? Well, we had some old foods and some new foods. So the old foods, you get to have again, the butternut squash soup mix, and again, the kale crackers. So what I did though today, I did split my crackers up because it was really nice having them with um, my lunch meal and also with my dinner meal. So that was really fun. Of course, we had the L bar again. I again had that for my lunch. Um, and there's no olives on day three. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I actually missed them, but some of you may not. And then we came to a new soup. So for your dinner meal on day three, you'll have a white bean and spinach soup. I really, really like this one. Um, it was nice and creamy um, and super, super flavorful. I love things that are green, red, yellow. You know, I think this program is great because it does actually give us color despite the fact that we're not eating a whole lot of food during the day. And one tip I picked up yesterday on day three is I moved my drink over from my Prolon bottle into my big Bubba bottle. So basically I put my two hibiscus tea bags in here, filled it with ice and then filled it with water. And then this thing is insulated so kept it cold all day long. And again, I really love that. And remember that's the glycerol drink that also goes inside that. So that was day three finished. So how did I feel? Um, I was feeling good. You know, I, I felt that this was a sufficient amount of food. It did seem a little less than some of the other days. There was no chocolate bar there, uh, but I did really, really well. So now approaching day four. So day four, how is it gonna work? So on day four, we're back again, you know, the typical breakfast. So by now you have the feel of it, that for breakfast, you're gonna be having uh, one of the El Nutra bars, and then you're gonna be having some tea. I've shifted my bar and I have that all at lunchtime. And so today it is the tomato soup mix. And then for supper, it's gonna be the black bean uh, soup mix, which is the same as what was had on day one. And remember with some of the soup mixes, like the black bean mix, you do have to cook this one longer for 12 minutes. So for some of the soups, just have a quick look at the back of the package and it says what you're supposed to do with them. Some are a minute, some are for 10 to 12 minutes. But for the beans, of course, you want the beans to really get absorbed all the water that's inside. And then you've got some olives, you get the L bar coming up, um, but no crackers, no crackers on day four. So we'll see how that goes. You know, if you really feel like you need something for a crunch, it is okay um, that you can add something that's super, super low carb, uh, like a cucumber, because it does, it's really basically water filled. Um, or you could have a little bit of radish or a little bit of celery if you really want something for that crunch. So day four, you know, it's really kind of into the final stretch. So think about it that, you know, for me, it's like into the final 48 hours, um, but I'm actually feeling really good. So I think day four is gonna be a great day. Again, making sure that you're getting lots of fluids even on top of what you're getting from your glycerol drink, because it's just important to stay hydrated. You don't wanna feel lightheaded or dizzy. So uh, that's preparation for day four. So I'll uh, check in with you all again on day five.